I'd like to go ahead and open up this post-game press conference. Okay. Questions for Coach, and then we'll ask the student athletes after that. Well, Coach Barnes, first of all, you got 111 points today, but you, I don't know, you might want rather talk about the defense. Just what stood out to you about this one? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of our guys' effort. And I thought uh, on a quick turnaround after emotional loss to TCU, I thought we had guys, especially these two guys, that were really focused today. So um, we've got work to do, but it's something that uh, I've been pressing upon our team. Uh, we've got to get better every day. And uh, you know, I thought some areas we got better in today. Uh, but we've got to go back to work. But you know, we, we did what we wanted to come out to do from the standpoint we wanted to win. I uh, thought our offense was extremely uh, good pretty much throughout the game. I uh, thought defense, we had some highs and lows. But again, uh, I shouldn't say that's to be expected, but I don't think we've uh, been playing enough to have uh, kind of experience that we need to be playing at our highest level right now on either end of the court. Coach, can you talk about Jeremiah Dickerson, like stepping in their passing lane? I think he had two or three crucial rips right there and then, you know, made the layup to finish. Kind of talk about his play. You got two lefty, looks yeah. like uh, point guards at that spot. Kind of talk about, you know, his play today. Well, Jeremiah's been uh, really improving. Uh, you know, after a red shirt year, uh, he, he's one of our hardest workers comes from a great program, uh, made the adjustment here really well. Uh, I mean, he's going up against Ricky and Jarkel and, and Taze every day. So uh, man, he's, he's got good competition that he's getting the chance to have some, uh, you know, uh, practice time with or scrimmage time with. And these guys are good tutors for him. Uh, they're good mentors for him and he's one of those kids that receive things and he takes them to heart and he goes and works on it so uh, I don't think any of our players or coaches were surprised about him being ready to play and, and making the plays that he made because that's the way he plays and I'm just happy that you know that got a chance to play him he got hurt earlier uh, during our preseason and was out for a couple of weeks with a hand injury but now he's back. We're glad to have him back. Ricky had 25 points, didn't miss a shot. The team was, I think he outscored in Lower Valley like 33 points while Ricky was on the court. So what was what was going well while he was out there? I mean, Rick has worked. I mean, this thing is, I mean, he's worked all spring and all summer. And, you know, again, for me, I mean, my expectations for him are probably uh, beyond what anyone else would expect of him. And that's why I'm pushing him every day because I think he has a chance to, to really have a great year and he's put the work in. And I think uh, as both of these guys have, you know, uh, last week I may mention that I'm not surprised that the ball is going in the hole. So I don't get nervous nor concerned when guys don't make shots. And, you know, so this is a night that I don't know if you can get any better than this from Ricky because he didn't miss any field goals, any threes, no free throws, but uh, he's a really, really good shooter. He takes great shots. Uh, so, uh, you know, every time he shoots, we all believe it's going to go in. It was going in today, and I always challenge him. You know, he, you don't have to miss, <clears throat> and today he did. Go ahead. Defensively, gave up some threes in the beginning of the game. You guys, analog value within the bonus, like 10 minutes into the game. Just how do you evaluate the uh, defense early on? I mean, we're better than that. So, I mean, but again, I, I, I told our guys, you know, today is a test. We're going to be have to pass some tests throughout this preseason, whether that's playing Long Beach and they're having a veteran team or going to TCU on the road or going next week to the Bahamas in three games and, you know, while we're there. I mean, it's a lot of newness for this team overall. So uh, the first half, you know, uh, obviously we were not pleased with our defensive effort. Uh, but again, I, I mean, I, I, these guys want to win and they want to do it the right way. And, you know, I was concerned uh, just from the standpoint of, uh, you know, we, keep, we don't want that to continue to happen. But I wasn't concerned that the second half we would come out and defend better. I mean, because 
again, uh, this is newness. A lot of guys playing at 11 o'clock in the morning. A lot of new guys just getting here and trying to get everybody on the same page and playing as many guys as we are. You know, it's, it's just going to take us some time to put everything together the way we would want to. But again, that's what we talk about every day. We're not. We're not playing right now for the NCAA tournament today. We're not playing right now for a conference championship. So really it's about us getting better every day. And, uh, you know, you got guys that have returned. Ricky was here last year. So you expect him to play it well. Justin Davis was here last year. I mean, he was a part of it the year before. So I, I just think these guys have – uh, every challenge is a new challenge. Every day is a new day. And right now, uh, they're handling things well. So uh, I'm proud of that. So, you know, I don't, whether it's a half, whether it's a game, even if we had to play bad today, like, we're, we're not in a situation where we're going to panic or, you know, either way. You know, we, we're going to take one day at a time. Uh, and today we started off slow. And we'll talk about that, which they know that. We didn't defend well the first half. Uh, pretty much everything I've asked them after it happened, they corrected. So I would believe that we'll correct this also. And what was the feeling like for you coming out of that TCU game where you guys almost pulled off the upset? I mean, really, I, I'm just, you know, I, I understand the makeup of our team. You know, so, I mean, I, we talked about it at the beginning, that it, before the game. I mean, we just, we've mapped out a plan for our season. And then right now, it, it's, it doesn't include wins. It includes us getting better. Because we feel like and we believe that if everybody matures and everybody gets to play in the way we're capable of playing, wins will take care of themselves. So the other night, uh, I mean, for me, um, I just took it as another game. You know, I told them the things that we didn't do well that we needed to correct to go into this game. And I'll do the same thing the next game. I, I'm not, I'm too experienced. I've been in the business too long to get too high or get too low. I mean, I know the guys we have on this team. I understand the makeup of them. So I'm not jumping up because, you know, really I was disappointed we lost the game. So uh, people might think that's unusual or crazy or something. I was disappointed. And we lost the game because I thought for 37 minutes uh, we were in a position to win the game. And with 24 seconds left, we're down three. And we need to stop with 11 seconds to go. And if we can make the play, maybe we send it in overtime. So uh, I, I try to keep these guys in that same uh, frame, uh, uh, in the same uh, thought process that I have. Today, we did what we needed to do. We got work. We got three games next week. Let's keep our heads on the next ones, and hey, we'll, it'll take care of itself. Ricky, quick, quick question for you. Just how big was the basket today? I mean, a couple and ones got you going. You just you made a couple threes. Just kind of talk about, you just seemed really a lot more aggressive than you were last year. Last year, you kind of, kind of deferred a little bit more as a floor general. Look like you really trying to go and get your shot and be a scoring guard. Uh, I just it, it, it felt like it felt normal, but I, it just, I think it came from my talking to the uh, teammates on the bench, coming in the game, talking to them, huddling us up every time we make a mistake to make sure we get it right. So I guess it came from that, just being enthusiastic and uh, showing a little leadership out there. Did you just kind of feel like I can take this guy off the dribble? I can just kind of. Did you feel like you could do whatever you wanted offensively within the flow of the offensive course? Uh, I, I was just taking shots we take every day in practice, like coach tell me to. So uh, I, I just uh, shooting the shot that I shoot I always shoot. And Justin, what do you think of Ricky's uh, crossover in three? Um, just come seeing it from the bench, it was it was pretty crazy. Um, you can kind of see it coming because when he you know kind of hesitated him, but. Um, it was, a, it was a crazy moment in the game, and it kind of uh, gave us a little bit of momentum and a little bit of energy to keep going. Justin, kind of talk about your game now. I mean, last year you were scoring, and now you're even stepping up a little bit more. Just kind of talk about your maturation <clears throat> over, you know, last year going into this year. You're kind of doing your thing a little bit more this year, too. Well, it just comes from the work that I put in. I feel like um, 
all the work that I put in, I feel like I'm, I'm a lot more confident than I was last year. Last year, you know, I, I could score the ball a little bit, but this year um, I expect every shot to go in. And that might, that might uh, kind of like drive Coach Barnes a little crazy because I might take a little, some, some crazy shots, but um, I just believe in the work I put in. I believe in myself. And um, that's something that probably will never change. That's because you grew up in Southeast? Yep, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky and Justin, just how do you guys feel after the uh, TCU game? Um, personally, I feel like uh, I feel like we had the game. I just feel like a um, couple plays here and there that we had to make, um, and we would have won the game. But um, it was a learning experience for for all of us. Um, it was our first time in a hostile environment, and I feel like um, I'm actually proud of my guys. I'm proud of everybody because we uh, we stepped up and and we, uh, we we proved ourselves. We we showed that we can play with anybody. Um, we knew, we know that we can play with anybody. We feel like we can play with anybody, but um, we went out there and showed it. So um, it was, it was good. We wanted to win, of course, but um, like Coach Barnes said, that's not really in the plan right now. We want to just play well, um, grow as a team, come together, um, continue to. Uh, me and Ricky need to continue to lead the team, and um, we'll we'll get to where we need to get to. Ricky. <coughs> Personally, I was hurt. The whole team was hurt because we didn't just go up there to play a good game. We went up there to uh, really try to beat them. And uh, they have a good team. And I uh, felt like uh, I could have stepped up a little more and to help the team. But whoever was on the court, they put, they did great and played great in the game. And I had a hard fought game. And I feel like it just shows the passion we have. And, and we uh, came back today with a great win. Coach Barnes, your, guy, your depth today and just getting people in there, rotating kids through there, you guys look so much more athletic than last year. You got you guys got people that can jump out of the gym. you getting the rotation together and things of that nature. Just kind of talk about you guys are really athletic as opposed to where you were at last year at this point. Well, we are. I mean, we, we got deeper team, and uh, we're long and athletic across the board. Uh, we're a fast team, and we're trying to play faster and – We've got to learn how to do that. That's something that uh, uh, we haven't done a whole lot here, trying to pick up the tempo a little bit. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I just think, as I tell our guys, I think anyone on our team can contribute to our, in any game that we're playing. And we just got to have everybody ready. That's why I, I don't think, and I told our guys, and they, they believe this and I believe this, and I think both of these guys just said it. Uh, we believe in our ceiling, where we, where we can go. We think we got a chance to overtime. And again, there's going to be some highs and lows. This is part of greatness, you know. Uh, and when you're trying to be great, uh, it's not going to be good for you every day. So it's going to be some tough days and days that we've got to get through. We felt like the other night it was tough for us, you know. Uh, that, that that was a, a learning experience, but it was a, a, a tough take because we put ourselves in a position to win, and, and we want to win. Uh, but whether we win the game or not, uh, their percentage that they shot in the second half and our percentage of what we shot, we just felt like in a play. You know, I, I gave the example to our guys yesterday. Hey, you give me Justin Davis with that ball in his hand twice, or you give me with Ricky with the elbow jump, or you give me with Jarkel that's got two great looks, and I'll take that deal in a day of the week. And if we don't win it, we'll come home and we'll go back like they have done and get back in the gym. So I, I'm not, again, I, I'm, I'm concerned about our team overall for the chemistry. But there are guys that right now I, I, we could put on the floor and just try to win a basketball game. <clears throat> but, but will that be the best for us later on in the season? Uh, so even today, uh, we had a chance to really probably break the game open earlier. But I had made a decision of some guys that I was going to play and give guys minutes because they're going to need it next week. But they're going to need it a month and two months from now. So uh, it's a process. We trust it. We believe in it. Uh, and again, I, I'm not shocked today. Neither one of these guys really shot the ball well the other day. And I told them, trust their work. And I think both guys did that today. And if they continue to do that, it's just going to build confidence in our team.